Today I'm going to show you how to make the Superman cake that I made for Father's Day. I stacked two 9 by 13 inch cakes on top of each other with a layer of frosting in between and then I carved out some lines for the abs so he'd have some muscles on him. So just a vertical line and three horizontal lines and you just you take a little bit of cake out like little slivers and then you just frost the whole cake and then I put little dollops or little mounds of frosting where the muscles would be and then I put a layer of blue fondant on top and then you go and kind of define all the muscles you want to make it obvious that he has muscles so you just find the mounds of frosting where they're at and just kind of sculpt them. So then I went online to find the S for the Superman symbol. And then I piped on some royal icing and then flooded it. Put it in the freezer. And then I tried to take it off the parchment paper, but it wasn't really coming off because I didn't pipe the lines on thick enough. So I ended up having to just cut out the S. And then you just place it on the cake. Now you take some white fondant and then make it into the shape of half of a white dress shirt. And then right here I'm scoring it, which means that you're dragging your knife along the edge, but you're not actually going through. And then you want to lift it off the parchment paper and then set it on half of the side of the cake kind of place it at an angle. And then you just cut off the excess. Then you do the same thing for the other side. Just roll it out with your hands until you get it to look kind of like the other half of the dress shirt. And then take a knife and actually cut this time. You want to cut the edge of it so that you can get a nice straight edge. That's what I'm doing right here. And then just remove that piece. And then you want to score it right here. This creates the hemline. and then lift it up and place it at an angle on the cake so that it's touching the other side of the dress shirt. Then take some black fondant and make a tie and then place it on the cake and then take some more white fondant and you'll make a little rectangle and this will be the collar that you can place over the tie and then take a round piece of white fondant and roll it into a ball and poke it four times with the toothpick and this will be the little buttons And then take a toothpick and make little slits for the buttonholes. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please give it a thumbs up if you like this video. And please share it with your friends. Thanks for watching.